Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm Waterman Gaming, we're back with a brand new video here on Starfield. So, let's continue where we left off, if you haven't seen the first two videos, for the link in the right corner of this video, please check it out. With that said, let's go. What? Well, I'll be. Honey, we got ourselves a visitor. I'll get the coffee brewing. Oh, my God! Oh, you about gave me a heart attack. Not that we're not thrilled to see you, daughter, but I thought you were under contract with Argos Extractors. Is everything all right? Now, now, it's just with our family, the news isn't always great, but... Constellation? Is this one of those candid camera vids? A joke? My child is a member of Constellation. I just knew you were special. Didn't I always say that? That you were meant for great things? Great things. Hey, if I don't get to sing your praises as much as I like, no one can. Oh, but you didn't give me any notice. If I'd known, I'd have your favorite meal in the oven. And your room is just a mess. Although, that's how you left it. Oh, wow. Easy, honey. Let the girl catch her breath. Why don't you settle in? You know you're always welcome. your old high school backpack good as new there's so many pockets in there one of them had an old apple and well it's clean now i know you're all grown but the backpack has the best storage on the market maybe you could use it with argos if not let me know and i'll donate it love mum <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> Extra capacity, what? Deck of cards. Same thing, pause if you want to read. If you don't want to read, good. Because it's gone. Right. We need to talk to John Tuala in Mast. Ask whatever you'd like. My parents considered themselves to be enlightened, but their lives were so busy they rarely pursued their beliefs. By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything. It's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. Having been out there, in the Starfield, seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes, I need answers, not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. 
You mean, apart from being the chair of Constellation for the past five years? Well, let's see. I pride myself with my aptitude for astrodynamics, calculating optimal trajectories for grav jumping. That's been quite useful in the past. And as far as planetary exploration, my area of expertise is botany. So, don't worry. I won't let you eat anything that might put you in the hospital. <laughs> Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I will make a confession, but you have to promise to keep it between us. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> A ridiculous name, I know, but uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. I hope you got something out of that. Okay. Wow, what? It's telling us to go to Earth. Uh. What? I told you, my left feet have left feet. The activity will do you good. But dancing? I mean, couldn't we... I don't know, do... Oh, yes. Anything. All right. Dancing it is. But something beginner-friendly. Like fit for a toddler. I'm not going to steal the her kitchen appliances. The house feels alive again now that you're here. I still can't get over you being here. And it's not even Mother's Day. So, I gotta ask, is there anyone special in your life? With you being in Constellation now, I imagine you are quite the catch. I knew it. You had that spring in your step, a mother. I won't press, dear. Don't worry. Hmm. Interesting. Something you want to discuss later, perhaps? I know you didn't live in this apartment long, but I want you to consider this your home away from home. Your bed is always yours, no questions asked. I mean, well, I will ask questions, but you can stay here no matter the answers. No bother at all. Stay as long as you like. Anything you want to talk about, dear? Well, one of your old classmates made junior VP at Galbank. Their father was bragging for hours. Can't wait to tell him about Constellation. Oh, ain't that the truth. With both of our pensions, we still couldn't afford it. But with what you send home, well, we get by. And of all the places we've lived, New Atlantis <coughs> is just so full of culture and life. That's good. Now that we're both retired, you mean? I, I keep trying to push your father to do things. Dance lessons, vacation, take some courses. I'm really interested in early colonial art. But he's just happy as a clam reading in his chair for hours. Wants to know the history of every little thing. It's nice to have time to do both, though. Talking with you has made my day. 
I'm being serious. I still can't believe it. Constellation. The stories make them seem so exotic, so, well, romantic, almost. But how is it for real? You liking it? Don't you worry yourself about that. All your life, you've been just this mess of potential waiting for a chance. Your number's finally been called, and the settled systems had better be ready for you. I've got some news of my own. You are now officially looking at a retiree. Taught my final class last Thursday. The faculty threw me a party and everything. It's too bad you weren't here then. You could have had some cake. Look at that smart mouth. Where on earth could you have gotten that from? <laughs> Enough about that. Anything you want to talk about before you have to go? I mean, stay. Stay as long as you like, but I imagine you're all excited to get to discovering. Damn. Planning a proper, honest-to-goodness vacation. Nothing too fancy. I've been promising your mom a trip for years, and I got no excuses now. Your mother's been sending me links all day about such and such deals and excursions, but it'll be good to get out. You know, it's supposed to be us taking care of you, right? <sighs> I'd like to say we'll pay you back the money you sent home. Well, I appreciate it. We appreciate it. More than you know. Retirement's treating me well, but there are some days I almost missed the classroom. Don't say anything to your mom about this, but she got some work done at Enhance. She keeps looking younger every day, I tell her. Not that I mind. It's I've been reading. It's good stuff. It's about... I've spent my whole life in a book. I'm fine. Ouch. Touché. Regina, it's you the and president me from here out. Well, she's making me redo the whole report. Talk to you later. Because she gave me the wrong information. I know. Okay, so we visited our parents. Which is good. So let's uh get going. We'll come back and fit them again eventually. But right now it's time. The well's been having brownouts all the time. Mast finally sent someone down there, but nothing's changed. Hmm. Interesting. of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities and to uphold the values of the vanguard, honor, loyalty, self-reliance in all your actions as members of the United Colonies Navy? I, I do. do. Then I'm proud to welcome you to the vanguard. No. Welcome to Mast. If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. Sarah. Ah, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship?
All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks. I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Anything for Sarah. UC always takes care of its own. Even the prodigal children. No, oh, brother. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. Oh my god. Been a long time since I've been to Mars. Soul system doesn't get a lot of traffic. Fine by me. Time to go? Zeroing in on anything useful? should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. Looks to me like you... Sure, have at it. I don't think we can do anything with a ship at the moment. Unfortunately. Please disregard. I attempt to travel safely. Let's go straight to the cockpit.
To be honest, I want to go all the way back there. So let's do it. Grab jumping now. Articulate and wealthy. Intriguing. Last question. Let Space is a lawless mess. If you could make the damn politicians fix one thing about it, what would it be? I want to continue exploring Crete. So that's what I'm gonna do. Look at that. Look where we land.
Sidonia is an industrial town. The people there tend to be... concise. Sure. Go. Bye for now. Oh, look at this world! It's beautiful. Just beautiful. Find anything useful? my god, no way, no way did that just happen.
hope you've calibrated that thing.
that's the end of this video guys. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, turn the notification bell, join the Wolfgang by hitting that subscribe, and if you want to see more Starfield, then stay tuned. I will see you in the next video. Until then, Wolfgang Gaming, signing off.